Hello everyone, it's Jonathan here, founder of Driving Academy, and today you're going to come along with me on a ride. This is our state-of-the-art driving simulator that our students do have access to during their training here with us. Um, and today we're going to be actually driving a 10-speed transmission on the mountain itself. So, we're going to be, the volume, I turned the volume on, off, so and then you can actually learn from me and listen to me. Uh, but let's go on for a ride. So what I started off with is starting off in first gear. So as you can see, we, we're in the snow, we're in the mountains, right? I see this car coming up next to me. We shall see if I can be successful without stalling or without messing this thing up. So now I'm going to be actually starting off in third gear. So I came to a complete stop, start off in third. Now I'm going to want to watch my trailer. I'm driving a 53-foot trailer behind me. I want to make sure that I know what I'm doing. So I can cross over any line on the street that I want. And as you can see, in third gear, I'm only going 11 miles an hour. So it's actually time to shift. So if you do not know how to shift, um, we can teach you that here. That's one of the things that we use this simulator for. I've got this big boy coming up next to me here. I want to make sure I'm checking out my mirror, staying inside my lane, even though I'm going through the curve. And in fourth gear, I'm only going 15 miles an hour. So now it's time to shift again into fifth. So now I'm going uphill. Things are starting to get tough. When you're shifting uphill, you want to make sure that you have more power than you do have speed. Power is important. If you try to shift too high up, in that case, you're actually going to have, because the higher the gears you go, the more speed you have, but the less power the engine actually has. So there has been instances where uh, people going up a hill will try to shift too, too much, and all of a sudden you lose the gear, or now that gear that you're in doesn't have enough power for the vehicle to actually continue to climb, so you actually start getting slower, 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 and then you start backing up. And that's the scariest thing to do. And now try to start a 80,000 pound vehicle. And as you can see, the speed limit is 20. I'm going about 19 miles an hour. Try to start an 80,000 pound vehicle going on a slope like this, especially when it comes to snow. And look at that. As soon as I said the word, it started to snow. So now I'm making this tight turn. I want to try to stay off the snow as much as possible. So I'm going to take over more of the space as needed. And I'm lucky because I don't have any uh, incoming traffic coming on in. Uh, so I want to always check out my mirrors. So anytime I'm, uh, I'm driving, I always want to make sure I'm checking out the top and the bottom mirror so it, everything's nice and easy. This guy over here got stuck and I ain't stopping. I ain't stopping for no, nobody. So let, to give you an example, let's kind of speed up the process. I'm going to go to sixth gear and you'll kind of see what's going on. So I'm in fifth, gas is pretty much all the way down. Boom, let's go to sixth and let's start picking up some speed. So we're going to start breaking the law a little bit here and we're going to start seeing, okay, speed limit is 20 miles an hour. I'm sure it's like that for a reason, but we're going to go be going around 25, but we're going to be in sixth gear. There's going to be another big U-turn coming on in. Now the problem with driving trucks on the mountains itself is that this is a very realistic scenario where you have tight turns going on in. So there are instances, depending on what the oncoming traffic looks like, that you do have to uh, watch out for and you might have to come to a complete stop. But speed is going to be super important that you do not go faster than you need. So over here, I am crossing the line here because I definitely don't want to get too close to the guardrail and I definitely don't want to drive my truck onto the snow itself. So super important here. So now all of a sudden, now the speed limit gets to 55 miles an hour. So let's pick up the speed, let's go to six a gear. So as you notice, I'm using the double clutch method. And that's the method that you're going to need to use if you want to pass your CDL road test. So if you're trying, oh, this guy's coming to a stop because he was afraid of me, which is fine. If you are, if you've been driving a truck for a while, or maybe you know somebody who's been driving a truck, they might not even use the clutch. And that's called floating gears. And that's okay once you get your license. Uh, some people say it's more efficient. Plus, you get to relax that left leg a little bit more. However, when it comes to the road test itself, it is super important that you do double clutch because if you do not, then you will not get credit and you will not pass that portion of the test. So the other thing I want to let you know is, like I said, the speed limit is 55 miles an hour. I'm choosing to go 35 for right now. These turns are getting kind of crazy. Uh, I definitely don't want to be flipping over my vehicle and there's our trooper friend there. So I'm going around this guy, trying to make as much space as possible for him. Uh, I'm going at slow enough speed so everything's okay. So now let's pick up the speed, see what we got going on. Double clutch again. Now I am in what gear? 
Put in the comments below what gear do you think I'm in right now? If you put in eighth gear, you are correct. I'm in eighth gear. Watch out for this crazy guy. He's been drinking on the job. What's he going to be doing? Oh, things got pretty close there. Oh, now I'm going to start downshifting. So I'm going to clutch into neutral. Gas, clutch. So now all of a sudden, I actually think there is some bumps on the road. So I can feel this in the actual steering wheel itself. So it's super important uh, that I'm aware of that, uh, especially in the snow. Dun, 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 dun. Now I'm going to go up to 8th gear again, pick up that speed, and let's see what's around our corner here. And if you like this, make sure you subscribe to our channel. Um, we have many different videos, from simulator videos to training videos. We also have ways where we can actually get you that CDL license that you've always been after, right? And if you just want to come on in and be a student here just for this machine alone, we have students who do that too. We're one of the few schools in the country that actually offer simulation training. So right now I'm in 8th gear again, going about 47, 46 miles an hour. I'm going to go up to 9th gear, even though that's not the smartest thing to do since I'm going up a hill. I don't really know what's going on uh, in front of me. But let's live dangerously, shall we? Uh, we're going to keep going on in. This guy's coming on. He's coming to a stop. He's afraid of us. We're going to keep going. Now, the one thing we do, even though it looks like a video game, we do not want to treat this thing like it is a video game. Uh, so it is snowing very heavily. I want to watch my speed. I might even want to downshift a little bit. So at 50 miles an hour, I'm going to downshift. Clutch, gas, clutch. When it is snowing like this, according to the textbook, you can actually reduce your speed by half. So since it's going, since the speed limit is 55 miles an hour, I can go as low, like 25, uh, 30 miles an hour without any issues there, all right? It looks like we're coming to our stop right here because it's getting way too dangerous for me. So the simulator is telling me to come to a stop. I'm going to downshift again. I'm going to come over, make sure there's no traffic. I'm going to follow, make sure my entire trailer is outside of the road and come to a complete stop. And yes, I'm in seventh gear. I can come to a full stop in seventh gear. And there you go. So thanks for coming on the ride with me in the mountain pass. The main things to watch out for is going to be speed, right? We want to make sure that we're checking out speed, checking out that mirror all the time, and watching to make sure you're not upshifting to try to go faster going up those steep hills, because if you do, you're actually losing power every time you do that, and now you have the ability of actually backing up and uh, making things worse for yourself, right? So if you are interested in learning more on how to get a CDO license, give our team a call at 908-525-3609. Or check out our website at cbldrivingacademy.com forward slash tour. Again, that's cbldrivingacademy.com forward slash tour. It's going to start getting wintry season. You might be in a situation like this yourself, but we're here to get you ready for it, uh, even if you're going to be a brand new driver out of school. Like I said, with this simulator, we can give you years of experience within just a few days of training. So one more time, give us a call, 908-525-3609, or check out our virtual school tour to figure out the details of how our courses can help you at cdldriveacademy.com forward slash tour. Thanks and hope to see you soon. Hey, thank you so much for watching this video. If you like it, make sure you hit that like button. Also, subscribe to our channel. It's really going to help us out. Click on that button. And if you want to continue yourself on your road to freedom, here's more videos to watch. There's endless amounts. Hopefully, we get to see each other one day very soon. Thanks.